All right, so we're at home base and uh, we've got the boat. She's a little bit dusty and dirty. We haven't managed to use her for a bit, but today, to keep the wife happy, I brought a bimini. So, I'm gonna install it, never done it, can't be that hard. Let's give it a crack and see what happens. So, we've started, we've opened it up, we've got the poles everywhere, the fabric down, the poles in there, and the poles there. We've got her set up, got my little helper there. Hi. Nah, she's sucking. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're ready to chuck it on the boat and then get the boat ready for it. So that's step one. Let's go to step two. So I've situated it on the boat. It's just sitting in my fishing rod holders at the moment. Um, but for me, I think it's too tall. So I'm going to chop it down a little bit and move some brackets around and uh, make it so that it fits on the inside of the boat, not on the outside. Okay, so what I'm doing is to make the uh, bimini a little bit shorter because it sits a little bit too high, is actually drilling the pop rivets out that hold these on. And get that out. And then what I'll do is I'll cut 100 mil, cut 100 mil, bring up 100 mil, and um, see how it sits there, and just keep making it shorter until I'm happy with the height. Pretty simple. Here we go. I've cut, ended up cutting 170 off, um, so hopefully that works out pretty good. Just got to drill the holes and put these boy, bad boys back in, and um, attach it to the boat. Go and use it. So what I'm doing here is just cutting the width of the canopy. So I've now got the poles that fit inside the boat. So I've got the right width for my boat now. And just about there. Just got to uh, put the straps on the back, tension her up. But as you can see, everything is internal. And that way it'll all fold inside the boat and it can be strapped to the back seat and it can go up on my roof. That's what I've designed it for so that nothing sticks on the gunnels. If it sticks on the gunnels, it'll hit my roof rack. She's done. She is done. She looks pretty schmick. Got to tighten up the, uh, the top bit, but look at that. We have shade. A couple of happy kids and a happy wife. Fishing, here we come. So, I left you last time with the finished product. It's been a couple of weeks because we've actually been using the boat and I haven't had time to film this last little bit to show you. So, I'm gonna show you what my plan was to start with and how it's been ex executed. So, the canopy is all finished and it's all on. It's all nice and tight and it works beautiful. So we've, we've been using it for the last couple of weeks. Over Easter we used it every single day. And I tell you, not only did it stop it from raining on us, but it also stopped the sun getting on us on the other days. So both utilities. So here we have these cool little mounts inside. Now instead of mounting them on the outside or the top of the boat, we've got them on the inside and they're actually pivoted. So to fold them all up, you have this neat little screwdriver. And you simply undo it. All right, that folds up there. You wanna help us there, bud, to hold that up? That can screw back in there. And then this one, this one here pulls out as well. So I don't have to take these screws out whenever I, um, every single time I'm folding it down. I can actually use these ones up here to fold these ones down, fold the canopy down, bring it home. The canopy's not blowing in the room. Good catch, mate, good catch. All right, so that goes down like that. All right, let go, mate. And then obviously the canopy goes down like that. All folds up. So that's all folded up. 
And then what I have to do is lift it up a little bit, bend it up, and it fits under there nicely. Then this side, just a little bit of a push, fuel tank's in the way. And that goes in there like that. So this, this bimini come with a nice cover. So I can wrap all that up and fold that up nicely. And that'll all fit in there. I get a simple ratchet strap, put that around both sides. Get a little strap around these ones here so they don't fall out. And now that is ready to go upside down and onto the car. So rather than having these mounted up here and it hitting on my boat rack, it's all internal and it all folds away nicely. I don't have to take the whole thing on and off every single time I want to pack this thing away. So I picked these up from your local boat store. Um, I've still got the original ones that the binami, binami come with, but for me, drink. that works perfect. You can hold your drink. Thank you. So, if you've got any questions, no. pop them in and we'll, uh, we'll answer no, them as best no, as what we can. But yeah, that's my bimini for this boat and how I wanted it, and that's how it's set up. So, all right, so in between the bimini and this video, I've actually put this non slip padding on there as well. Um, it's designed for boats, it's, it's got a sticky back on it, and it's a bit of cushioning. So I've put it around the front one, but I've also made another board because we can carry more weight now uh, It just found it better that if we have another board in here, so I've made this Board here that fits in nicely and on the edges I'm going to cut this roll up that I brought the Eva non-slip Padding that with that I was talking about brought it off eBay literally 60 bucks for that width, which is about a metre by two metres long. And that'll go up the sides there so that no one slips. And um, yeah, I'll show you all that when that's done on another video. But thanks for watching. And um, yeah, here's to happy boating with nice shady weather.